Greetings, good people. Greetings. Well, well, well. I just stumbled across some interesting information, all right? Unless your head was under a rock or you just didn't give a damn, everybody has been talking about Erica Mena, the altercation that took place between Erica Mena and Spice, who are cast members of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, right? So it was all the talks all week. Well, I just saw on Instagram, Love and Hip Hop um, Atlanta's Instagram page, they issued what seems to be a statement. And that statement reads, the Love and Hip Hop franchise has never shied away from hard conversations in our community. Working hand in hand with our partners, viewer, partners viewers will see the impact of Erica Mena's remarks play out in the final three episodes of the season. Effective immediately, she will not appear in the next season of love and hip-hop atlanta so what does this actually mean because this is not a statement from mtv okay you guys know that love and hip-hop the love and hip-hop franchise was affiliated with vh1 this is the first year or season that they've been moved to mtv i don't know if this is good enough for me how about you guys so it says effective immediately she will not appear in the next season of love and hip-hop atlanta Okay, that's just the next season. What about the season after that, if the show continues on? I don't know. This is, so does this mean that she was fired? Um, another point that I wanted to bring up, I thought that was very interesting. A lot of people have been, you know, commenting. I read your comments on, when I reported on the, the incident between Spice and Erica Mena. Um, and some of you brought up some interesting points. I also seen all over social media that, they could have edited out that part. I'm going to say, I understand why that would be said, but here's why I think they shouldn't have edited this out. Because if they did, then that would mean that they were complicit in protecting Erica Mena, who everyone feels should be fired, right? So no, although it was offensive, it was extremely offensive what she said to Spice, regardless of what Spice said or, or what have you, she made an offensive comment that affected multiple people all right it's a racist statement that she made all right so i do think that she should suffer consequences of her act for her actions but does this mean that she's fired though that's why i put a question mark or pose a question in the title was she fired how do you guys feel about MTV not editing out what Erica said? I don't think that they should have edited it out because if you're going to be bold enough to be ignorant like that, you should be exposed. Um, and yes, MTV, they are going to benefit from the ratings of the show. It is what it is. Some people will boycott. Some people will still watch. Watch. I want to see how the last three episodes play out because I want to see people angered and outraged and I want to see... Uh, what people have to say about Erica's behavior. I want to see that. So I am going to watch the last three episodes of the season, and I do want to see how that plays out. Will she be at the reunion? That's another question that I'm concerned about. I know, I don't know. It would have more of an impact for me personally if MTV actually made a statement, okay? Um, what do you guys think? This is very, very interesting. And let me also show this this is their uh this is their page on on instagram so you see a lot of people have a lot of things to say this comment was interesting should have been gone when she told a grown man on national tv if he go missing it was her how y'all let that fly that was a whole threat angry or not she flipped a table you know what i want to point that out too because i didn't add that in my commentary i didn't emphasize uh that in my previous commentary Erica got violent as she has done in the past. Okay, before she called Spice a derogatory name, comparing her to an animal or calling her an animal, she actually lifted up the table and attempted to flip the table to physically harm Spice. She should have been arrested if you ask me, right? Uh, Spice was strong enough and quick enough to actually catch the table and hold the table. Now, this is someone who is still possibly recovering from major surgery that she had right so who knows if she could have gotten injured you know she could have gotten injured is she injured and she's just kind of brushing it over erica needs to just go just let her go already oh my god oh my god anyway this there's, there's dozens and dozens of comments some people think that spice was just as wrong and spice should be let go too not just erica i don't agree with that at all 
Um, I do think that a lot of these companies, especially media outlets, I think because people are protesting more and people are becoming more vocal, they're becoming more and more not tolerant of certain behaviors as it pertains to black people. Other demographics and other groups will get swift justice, but it, you know, a lot of these companies seem to drag their feet when it comes to any injustices toward black people. So I don't know. I mean, this is all right for now, but I just don't feel like it's good enough for me. You know, um, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Do you think that Spice should be let go too? Do you think that this is just a way for love, the Love and Hip Hop franchise to kind of quiet everybody down and Erica may return? Case in point, look at Evelyn Lozada. This just dawned on me. Remember when Evelyn Lozada was let go from the show or suspended? Evelyn Lozada will be coming back to Basketball Wives, especially after all that those derogatory gestures and statements that she made toward OG. OG is not coming back to the show. I don't think OG wanted to come back, and I don't think she should. But Evelyn Lozada will be returning to Basketball Wives. So do you think it will be an instance where Erica won't come back to Atlanta, but she'll pop up on a different franchise? like Miami or Hollywood? Or do you think she'll have to sit the next season out and will come back the season after that? It's just, this is, I don't know. I, I would rather a statement from MTV, but I guess this is as good as it's going to get. Um, I don't believe that they let her go because they really care about the weight and the severity of her comment. It's probably just to kind of pacify the public because they know that viewership for these reality shows is dwindling and they want to keep as much as the audience um, as they can. Uh, so, yeah, this is this is going to be interesting. I can't wait to hear other people's uh, commentary regarding this and their opinions. I've enjoyed just listening to other people give their thoughts and opinions, even the ones that I emphatically disagree with. It's just interesting to see how one situation Everyone can see this one situation so differently. Some people are ignorant, but it is what it is. So what I want you guys to do is I want y'all to sound off in the comments, share your thoughts. Do you think that this is good enough? Do you think this is just to pacify the public? Do you think Spice should be let go as well? I don't, as I said before, let me know what you think. So as for now, according to Love and Hip Hop on uh, Instagram, they said that effective immediately, she will not appear in the next season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Share your thoughts in the comments. Talk to you later.